Cathedral. In this story, Carver shows how two people who seem very different on the surface can find common ground. There's no doubt that the man's awkwardness around the blind man comes from a lack of understanding of people with disabilities. However, as he grows familiar with the blind man, he starts to see the world in a different way. He relaxes and becomes able to connect with Robert on a deeper level. The story is an educational reminder of the importance of seeing beyond looks. It's an enjoyable lesson that teaches the importance of taking the time to truly see and understand others. The story's title, Cathedral, refers to the drawing that the husband and the blind man create together. It's a symbol of the connection they have made and the understanding that the husband has gained. The cathedral also stands for the idea that one can create meaning out of seemingly mundane experiences. Hello, everyone. Welcome to English for You. I'm Mike. I'm Chiclin. And it is day three in the story Cathedral, which is not in a cathedral. It's in someone's home, <laughs> and there are some people having a nice evening together. There's a man、uh, who's telling the story. His wife, who's in bed, she went to she went to bed. <laughs> so, so weird, just, and yeah, she's just she's just gone. Just、right? forget、It's、about、fun. her. She had a, a busy day cleaning the house and cooking a casserole or something.、Um, and then there's this man named. Robert, who is a blind man, who has come to visit the couple, he knows the wife,、uh, but he's never met the husband. And now Robert and the husband are spending time. At first, Robert was nervous and uncomfortable. He'd never really spend any time with a blind person. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to say. But as the night went on, he started to relax. And they were watching a TV show and saw. A show about a cathedral, about、wow. big, beautiful churches,、mm -hmm. and of course, Robert, the blind man, had never seen one. He's blind,、mm -hmm. um, and so he asked the man he's with to describe it to him, to you know, paint a picture using words, and then to draw a picture together.、Mm -hmm. And as they did that, the man realized that he's learning a lot from Robert. He's learning to look at life in a different way, and he's also learning that meeting new people who are different from you is a very valuable life experience. And this made the man appreciate not only Robert and their new relationship, but many of his other relationships and friendships, and all of the wonderful things they bring to his life.、Mm -hmm. So he's kind of a grumpy guy before the man, right? I think so. Yeah, I think no, he was kind of rude. Yeah, he wasn't really the nicest guy. He, you know, kind of closed-minded and hard-hearted. But now he seems to have a much op more open mind, a much more open,、mm -hmm. kind, caring heart. So that's nice.、Yeah. So let's get to the part three and see what happens. It says in this story, Carver—that's the author of the story. So now we're kind of—we finished telling the story. Now we're talking about the story. So that's Raymond Carver, the author. In the story, Raymond Carver, Carver shows how two people who seem very different on the surface. Can find common ground. There you go. So even though you and I are from different places,、uh, different ages, different cultures, whatever, there's always something you can talk about with someone, and you will have that in common. To seem is to appear to be, to appear to feel, to do. This is your first impression when you meet someone. It might not be the truth. You'll find the truth out maybe a little bit later. But when you first look at it, when you first think about it, or or talk about. It or do it or experience it, experience it. It seems first reaction. This is what it was telling you. This is how it seems. But as I said, the truth may be different. For example, how cute the dog seems to be as interested in the soccer game on TV as we are. Ah,、mm -hmm. he's probably just watching the colorful things move around. Yeah. Hmm. So it seems 就是似乎。那么后面可以加一个形容词。加动词的时候还要加上一个 to 哦。那常说似乎有什么。我们可以说 there seems to be something, or there seem to be something. 后面是复数的话。好，我们找一个句子。There seems to be a misunderstanding between us. 我们两个之间似乎是有一点误会哦。所以在这个故事故事中呢 ，Cover 他就展现了两个看似相当不一样的人，他们是怎么找到彼此的共通点的。
Okay, so this whole evening, this whole experience has definitely been good for the man. As we read next, there's no doubt that the man's awkwardness around the blind man comes from a lack of understanding of people with disabilities. It might make you uncomfortable, make you self-conscious, make you feel awkward, or have this feeling of awkwardness, and that's where the man's、uh, awkwardness comes from—just a lack of experience with people who are, you know, quite different from him, like Robert. But you know, that's. Not 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 strange. That's quite normal for people. We here also see today's language and focus. We talked about there is or there was no doubt that. How? So this sentence is without a doubt. How? So, for example, although sometimes Lillian's parents are very strict, there is no doubt that they love her. Although Lillian's parents are very strict, but of course, they love Lillian. Or maybe Ferris had worked very hard for the interview, so there was no doubt that he would get the job. Ferris was very hard for the interview, so there was no doubt that he would get the job. 定是可以得到这份工作的，因为是过去式，所以我们使用了过去完成跟过去式来代表前后顺序。所以呢。呃，我们文章中嘛，意思就是只说毫无疑问的，这个男人对盲人的尴尬是源及源于什么呢？源于对残疾人士的不了解，造成说哦，他不知道要讲什么话。All right. So at first, at the beginning of the evening, the man felt awkwardness around Robert. However, we read next. However, as he grows familiar with the blind man, he starts to see the world in a different way. So there you go. As he spends some time with the man, talks to him, learns about his life, and gets to know him be- better. In other words, as he grows familiar with the man, he starts to see the world in a different way. When you're familiar with something, you you've experienced it before. It's not strange. Strange. It's not unknown. It's something you've seen b- before, done before, or you know, learned about, or, or you know, had happen before. For example, are you familiar with the samurai films of famous Japanese director Akira Kurosawa? Has a familiar 就是熟悉的，所以熟悉谁呢？我们加一个 with 嘛，所以 be familiar with someone。那么除了熟悉，我们也可以指很随便的或亲密的意思。比如说 ，the singer doesn't like to get too familiar with her fans。然而呢，啊、um, ，当这个男生啊，他开始跟这个盲人熟悉起来，他就开始用一个不同的角度去看待这一个世界。So not only is he learning from Robert, the blind man, but the man telling the story also starts to just have fun. He relaxes, it says, and becomes able to connect with Robert on a deeper level. So he's no longer feeling awkward or uncomfortable. He's learning from the man, and as he learns more about Robert, he starts to, you know. Have a good time and enjoy spending time with Robert, and that allows him to relax. When you relax, you kind of rest. You allow yourself to become calm. You lose your stress or your tension or your feeling of being nervous. Everyone relaxes in different ways, but you're doing it to try to, you know, make your body more comfortable, more at ease, make your stress go away, and improve your mood. Hopefully, for example, it took a few moments for Betty to relax after almost being hit by a car while crossing the street. Wow, it definitely would have taken her some time to relax after that experience. 嗯，所以 relax 就是放松。我们有一个片语叫做 relax one's grip， 或者是 relax one's hold， 指的就是放宽控制的意思。比如说 ，the dictator refuses to relax his grip on power。所以呢，嗯、um, ，这个这个男生，这个 husband， 他就放松了，并且可以更深层的与 Robert 交流哦。Okay, the story it says is an educational reminder of the importance of seeing beyond looks. That's a very good point and a very good lesson. It's an educational reminder. A reminder is sort of you know bringing your attention back to something you learned before, something you might have forgotten or don't you know don't remember how important it is. But here's a little reminder. Don't you know don't don't stop paying attention to this. And it's an educational reminder. Educational meaning it teaches. 
us something. It gives us new information. It makes us better as a person because we're learning things and we're becoming, you know, just better people in some kind of way. Educational things can, of course, be school classes or educational. Homework is educational. You can watch educational television shows on like Nat Geo or something like that. But lots of things can be educational. Here's one for our example sentence: traveling to different countries and experiencing different cultures can be both fun and educational. You learn things by, you know, meeting people who are different from you, as the man is experiencing with Robert in our story. And the importance of something is just how important something or somebody is. That's all we're talking about. If your teacher is putting a lot of importance on something they're trying to teach you, it will probably be on your next test. So definitely pay attention to it. For example, please explain to me the importance of the Mona Lisa painting in the history of art. I know there's this painting, the Mona Lisa. It's in Paris. Everyone says it's the best painting, the most expensive painting. Why? Why is it so important? You know, I want to understand the importance of this painting because to me it just looks like a lady who's kind of smiling. But I don't, I don't really get it. <laughs> okay, so educational 呢，我们就是教育的意思，会有教育性质、意义的。那么名词是 education， 动词是 educate。哦，那当然，教育别人的这一个教育者，我们英文就是 educator。好，那我们造两个句子。Education is central to a country's economic development. 或者是 children need to be educated about the dangers of drug use. 那么我们刚刚也有看到 reminder， 这个就是提醒或可以提示你什么东西的啊、um, 一个事物。所以 reminder of something 就是对某事物的提醒哦。那么 importance 大家应该也知道就是重要性的嘛，因为它就是来自于形容词 important。那我们造一个句子 ：The importance of the town is due to its geographical location. 所以，我们今天看到这个故事，这三天下来，它是很有教育性质的，提醒我们不要只去看外表，其实有很多内在的东西是很重要的。All right, but we're also learning things from just reading the story, right? And so, as the article says next, it's an enjoyable lesson. The story is teaching us a lesson, just as、uh, the man learned his lesson from Robert in the story. So, it's an enjoyable lesson that teaches the importance of taking the time to truly see and understand others. Yeah, having a good life lesson like this taught to us in a story is more entertaining and more fun, more enjoyable.、Uh, so, enjoyable means fun. Pleasurable, something you like doing. Hey, why do you go? I don't know, surfing on the weekend.、Uh, it's enjoyable. I like doing it. That's all we're saying. Layla and her friends spent an enjoyable day at the water park on that hot summer day. In other words, they had fun. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, so enjoyable 就是令人感到很愉快的哦。那么有一个 take the time to do something 就是 spend time doing something. 所以呃、uh, enjoy 这一个字就是动词嘛，它的动词。那后面就会加上 v i n g 或者是一个名词。所以比如说 enjoy yourself 就是玩的痛快，过得愉快。所以 enjoy oneself. 我们把 yourself 改成 herself, myself 都 OK. 比如说 ，her only purpose in life seems to be to enjoy herself. 所以其实这一个啊、uh, 故事呢，告诉我们一个令人愉快的 lesson。它教导了人们呢，花时间去真正看待以及理解他人的重要性哦。所以这个 cathedral 呢 ，what does it mean? What's the symbol of cathedral? Yeah, well, we talked about a cathedral being a big, important Christian church, but there was just the drawing. But really, as it says, the story's title, cathedral, refers to the drawing that the husband and the blind man create together. They drew that together. Together, actually, you know, working together physically to create that picture. So that was kind of a meaningful part of the story. So you refer to 呢，就是意志。不过它意思相当多，它有当提及、涉及、有关的意思。比如说 ，the word bird refers to many different species, such as eagles or pigeons. 所以我们故事的标题呢，是在表示男人跟盲人，嗯、um, ，一起共同创作的这个画作的意思。And it says it's a symbol. The cathedral, the drawing that they did, it's a symbol of the connection they have made and the understanding that the husband has gained. So there you go. They worked on it together, and as they were working on it, the husband was learning more about the man, Robert, and also himself. 
，所以它是有一个象征在的嘛？象征什么呢？象征说这两个人所建立起来的关系，以及这个丈夫啊、嗯，渐渐对这个人产生的理解。Mm -hmm. The cathedral also stands for the idea that one can create meaning out of seemingly mundane experiences. All right, so yes, just drawing a picture of a big building led to all of these wonderful discoveries for the man and probably for Robert as well. But mainly for the man telling the story, it was just we're drawing a picture. But from drawing a picture, this seemingly mundane experience from just drawing that picture, the man learned so much and became a Better, kinder, more,、uh, more interesting and intelligent person. So, seemingly, 呢就是会有看起来或看样子的意思。所以意思就是说，大教堂还代表另外一个理念，就是我们可以从看似很平凡的经历里面创造意义出来的。所以，比如说，我们再造一个句子 ：She remains confident and seemingly untroubled by criticism. 好，那么这个出现的形容词 mundane 指的就是一个很平凡的东西，或者是平淡无奇的意思哦。All right, and that's all the time we have, but we do have our chat question, so let's have a quick look at that. Here's a question for you, my friend: Do you prefer to be friends with people who are similar or different from you, and why? Definitely, people who are similar to me. Similar to you? Yeah, it doesn't require that much effort. You have things in common. Yes,、right? we have common ground.、Mm -hmm. But of course, I mean, getting along with different people could be good because、mm -hmm. you can learn from them、mm -hmm. as well. That's true. What、yeah. What about you? I I would agree with you. I think some differences are good because、mm -hmm. you can learn from people. But you have to have some definite things that are similar because that's the way you make connections. That's the way、mm -hmm. you kind of share opinions. So you know, you and I both like music, and we're friends. And、oh, yeah. one of the reason we're friends is probably because we both have a love of music.、Mm -hmm. You know. And if I can meet people who love music from all over the world, that would be great. And even better if they're from, I don't know, Africa or somewhere, but they love、uh, music, then、yeah, I can learn about awesome, their styles、yeah. and my style. But you're right. If it's someone who you have nothing in common with, it might be kind of hard、yeah. to start, or, or you know, if, or if they believe things that you really don't believe.、Mm -hmm. I like killing animals for fun. What? The... I don't know if I could be friends with that person. No, you know, so you do need some things, some some things in common.、Mm -hmm. But if you're exactly the same as the person. That could be boring too. Yeah, I like this, so do I. I like that, so do I. I don't like that, neither do I. What do you talk about? So it's always good to have some differences. What about you guys?、Uh, think of your friends. Think of the connections and relationships you've made. Is it best to be with someone who's similar or someone different or a little bit of both? Have a chat about that. Take care of everyone. Take care of yourselves and each other. We'll see you back here soon. Bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Seem. Edward seems more independent after he moved out to live by himself. Familiar. I've been to Tainan many times, so the city feels familiar. Relax. Pam loves to take a hot bath to relax her tired muscles after she goes to the gym. Educational. Educational. The museum offers educational programs that teach visitors about art history. Importance. Regular exercise is of great importance. It helps us stay fit and maintain a healthy weight. Enjoyable. Enjoyable movies have interesting stories that keep people curious to find out what happens next. 小蝴蝶。Reminder. Refer to something. Mundane. <音樂>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。